Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today uh, we'll see uh, one more session in uh, discrete mathematics that is a conject to normal form. So in our previous session we have seen, so what is the normal form, what is the purpose of going with the normal form and what are the different types of normal forms and also we have seen elementary product and elementary sum. So in today's session, we'll see what is the conject to normal form and how can we convert any well-formed formula into the conject to normal form. Right. Let's start the session. So conject to normal form. Usually we will be calling this as CNF, right? So our goal is to convert the given formula into CNF. So main purpose of using this normal form is to simplify the formula in order to find the logical equivalence. So that we have discussed in our uh, previous session. I'll post the complete playlist of DMS in uh, uh, description so you can follow that one, right? Yeah, directly we go, how can we convert uh, any formula into the CNF? So first one, what is a CNF? CNF is, it is a product of elementary sums. So CNF, if the formula is in the form of product of elementary sum, then we can call it as a CNF. For example, here I'll write the example, right? So P or Q and negation p or q so in this format so there should be elementary sums and in between the elementary sums there should be the conjunction connective so then we can say that particular formula is in cnf now how to convert this one right so conversion steps i'll give the conversion steps right now then we'll see the few examples so step one, so we have to eliminate the implies or double implies in the formula. So eliminate implies or double implies from formula. So how can we convert it? So we have seen a different loss of logic and logical equivalences. So from that we have to eliminate this one. For example, if any formula is in this format, so this can be written as negation P or Q. And if any formula is in this format, that is logically equivalent to P implies Q and Q implies P. So again, here we can convert this P implies Q as negation P or Q and Q implies P as negation Q or P. So by using these two logical equivalents, first we have to eliminate the conditional or biconditional connectives from the formula. So this is connect, uh, sorry, conditional and this is a biconditional. So both the things we have to eliminate. And after that, check whether there is a negation for any elementary sum or not. If there is a negation for elementary sum, then we have to eliminate it. Elementary sum or elementary product. So, the next procedure or next step is eliminate negation from elementary sum or product. See, we can't eliminate a negation for a single or an atomic proposition, but we have to eliminate the negation if it exists for an elementary sum or elementary product. For example, if it is P or Q. So here you can observe the negation is for complete elementary sum. Such cases we have to eliminate. So this can be written equivalent as negation P and negation Q. So which is our de Morgan's law, which is nothing but de Morgan's law. So we have seen 
the loss of logic like de morgan's identity identity okay so associativity distributive commutative commutative negation double negation so all these things we have seen in our previous session so using all those laws of logic so we can convert this into the cnf right so the second one if there is a negation eliminate the negation from elementary sum or product so if the formula consists of negation p and q you need not bother about that okay if it is a negation p or negation p and q you need not bother because here the negation is for only one proposition so you need not bother about that if the negation is for complete elementary product or elementary sum so you can also go with elementary sum right so this is elementary sum if it is in this format elementary product this is elementary product right so then also you have to go with the de morgan's law negation p or a negation q so the same de morgan's law so that is the second step we have to follow while reducing the formula to cnf and finally third one you can apply any loss of logic in order to get the product of elementary sum okay to the product of elementary sum so the same thing you have to follow so mainly apply distributive law apply distributive law so mainly we'll be using the distributive law so that doesn't mean only we have to use only distributive law and de morgan's law so you can use any law of logic in order to get the product of elementary sum or sum of elementary products we apply the distributive law to form product of sums product of elementary sum what is the distributive law p and q or r so if it is in this format we can come we can write it as oh sorry p r n yeah. now we are finding out about cnf right so p or q and p or r so you can simply observe this is a product of elementary sums similarly you can also go with p uh, and q or r so if the formula is in this format then also you can apply the distributive law so p or r and q or r so this is also distributive law okay mainly we'll be using this distributive law so that's why i have written this distributive law and once again i'm repeating that doesn't mean that we have to use only the distributive law so you can use any law of logic in order to convert the formula into cnf whenever it is required when it is whenever it is required so but mainly we are using uh, first we have to eliminate the implies that means a condition and by condition and second one we have to eliminate the negation from either elementary sum or product and uh, we have to apply the distributive law to form the product of elementary sums because the distributive law itself gives the product of sums right so hope you understood this one now let us see an example we will solve that so that you will be getting more clarity so let us take this example now we have to convert this into cnf which is a product of elementary sums so you can observe here this is not in a product of elementary sums because here we are having elementary sum but there is a negation for complete elementary sum so we have to eliminate that one and here we are having a conditional connective that also we have to eliminate and here it is elementary product but it should be elementary sum now first what we have to do we have to eliminate the implies that is a condition so so for the first example i am writing step by step right eliminate condition right so what happens here negation that means p implies q is equal to negation p or q so what we have to do so negation of negation of p or q or p and q so this is in the form in this form okay in this form now you can observe negation of negation p or q so where we can apply double negation 
double negation apply the double negation so what is a double negation so negation of negation p is equivalent to p so that we have to apply so this is the first step and this is the second step and here it becomes p or q or p and q okay so you can see here p or q on p and q because negation of negation it becomes a uh, i mean the negation will be get cancelled now so you can observe simply you can apply the distributive law in order to get the product of sums so apply distributive law which is uh, you can see p or q and r which gives p or q and p or r so this is a form right this is a form now you can observe what we have to do so consider this one as x this one as y and this one as z so three are different so let us let us consider uh, x y z so x or y and z so this will be in the format x or y and z so that can be written as x or y and x or z same thing we will write here so p or q this is one term right p or q or p and p or q or q this one p or q or p and p or q or q this is the format and you can apply here so associative law you can apply the associative law or simply you can see p or p which will be p itself p or p it's a p so you can simply go with the p or p and again here also p or q or q which is q so this is also p or q and you can observe both are elementary sums between the elementary product sorry the conjunction the conjunction symbol so we have taken this formula and we have converted into the product of elementary sums so this is how we have to convert any formula into clf right so we'll see a one more example let us solve this one so check whether it is in clf or not so obviously that is not in clf it is not a product of elementary sums so here there is no product of elementary sum. I mean, this is not an elementary sum and this is not an elementary sum. So what we have to do? So here there is a, so first one, always we have to eliminate the condition or by condition. So in this formula, we are not having any condition or by condition. So what we are having, we are having a negation for complete elementary sum or product, whatever it may be. So we have to eliminate this one. So in order to eliminate this one, we have to apply the De Morgan's law. So Q or P and R and apply the De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law means so negation negation of so I write here De Morgan's law. So negation of P or Q. Here it is in the format P and Q. Let us consider P and Q is equivalent to negation P or negation Q. So the same thing we'll be writing here negation of p or r or negation q right so we are applying de morgan's law for this one now again you can observe this is again de morgan's law so again you can apply q or p and r and and negation p and negation r or negation q now you can see this is in a 
distributula. See here also it is a distributula. So here I'm writing what is a distributula. So distributula, here it is like P or Q and R. So which is equivalent to P or Q and P or R. Similarly here it is in, uh, in the format of P and Q or R. So which can also be written as P or R and Q or R. So the same thing applied here. So Q or P and Q or R <coughs> and see negation P or negation Q negation Q and negation R or negation Q and now you can observe so this is an elementary sum this is elementary sum this is elementary sum and this is also elementary sum in between the elementary sums we are having product the conjunct to normal form I mean conjunct to uh, connective here also conjunct to connective here also conjunct to connective so all the elementary sums were uh, differentiated with a conjunct to connective so which is a product of elementary sums so this is in the format of c n f right so hope you understood this one so let us let, let me give uh, two more examples so let us take two, the, two examples. So uh, if you understood the procedure, so how can we come uh, convert the any normal form to CNF? You just practice these two problems and post the answer in the comment section. And if you feel any difficulty while uh, converting this one to the CNF, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I'll uh, clarify all your doubts. And follow the procedure, eliminate this uh, Condition first and apply uh, and eliminate the negation if, if necessary and apply the distributula. Obviously, you will be getting the normal form. So, this will be converted into a CNF. That means a product of elementary sums. And this is also will be converted into product of elementary sums. Right. So, note down and follow the procedure and comment me the result, the, uh, the answer, the CNF form for this formula and CNF of this formula. Right. So hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.